La? I have a very urgent question. So, um, uh, my grandpa used to not pray in the past, and we know that like if a person does not pray at all, he um, is counted as a kafir. But now he prays, alhamdulillah. Um, but my mother doesn't know whether um, when my, when her grand when my grandfather, who's her father, she doesn't remember whether he was praying at the time where she got married to my father or not. So I'm worried um, because a kafir cannot count as a, a as a wali of a woman. So I'm worried whether their marriage is valid and whether I'm attributed to my father now. What is this? Is this a joke, Dima? Now you are cascading things that are way above your pay grade. And this indicates a grave error <clears throat> in the way people think. So my grandfather, did not used to pray, but now he prays, alhamdulillah. So we know that he is a kafir. No, you don't. Who labeled him as a kafir? Uh, Sheikh, I heard somewhere on the web, I don't, I don't know, maybe Islam Q&A, maybe Islam web, that who, not, who does not pray is a kafir. We said a gazillion times that this ruling is theoretical. I don't come to brother Ahmed, who's my neighbor or colleague at work, and cascaded on him by observing him and saying, hmm, I haven't seen him pray for two weeks. He's a kafir. Boom, labeled him, stamped. This is not Islamic. So now, well, number one, you cascaded the ruling on your grandfather without any witnesses, without any interrogation, without asking him, without having a Muslim judge condemning him after interrogating him, that he's a kafir. This is error number one. Error number two. Now you want to cascade this ruling on him being a wali to your mom when she married your father. So you want to invalidate their marriage, which is cascaded on the other points such as number three you're not the legitimate child of your father which means that your father cannot hug you or kiss you because yet he's your biological father islamically he you are born out of wedlock which means that if he dies you will not inherit him you have to take hijab from him and if someone wants to marry you he cannot be your guardian what is this and this is the same mindset that generates, unfortunately, don't get this personal. I'm not talking about Dima personally. I'm talking about a trend among the Muslims. This is the same mindset that generates Khawarij, that generates ISIS or ISIS, non-Islamic state of Iraq and Syria, that generates people who give takfir and are prone to blow up places and people because of their twisted mindset had they learned islam properly and i'm again not addressing you dima don't get me wrong i'm just giving an advice for the ummah because this is something that is obviously growing among the youth they pick up a word or a statement from a sheikh and they cascade lots of scenarios and they act upon it without going back to the sheikh himself and if they went to the sheikh, the probably he would have scolded them for their approach and the way of thinking. So definitely, all what you have mentioned in your question is bogus and baseless, and you have to uh, erase it from your memory and move on, you and your mother as well. Salih.